Okay, this is tutorial part 4 of my Super Looper tutorial. We have configured everything like audio and MIDI controls and now we can really start to make our first loop. What I did is that I um, connected my e-piano to my uh, Jackpilot inputs which go to Super Looper. We have configured this in part Two. And now we start our first loop. This is the, I think this is the <laughs> initial uh, design of Super Looper when you started the first time. And what we do now is very simple. This is the first loop section. The part above is um, general section. And in the first loop section, now we do the following things. We um, raise a threshold a little bit so that when we start playing, the uh, meter goes above it, so it recognizes when we start playing and we don't have to do this manually. Uh, when you don't hear anything, you have to raise main in monitor and main out, and uh, so then you can hear what you played. And now we start. Um, we start by pressing the record button with the mouse or with our configured MIDI switch, which I do now. Press, and now you see it blinks and it tells us waiting start and uh, this is because we raised the threshold above zero which means that um, uh, now it waits until I give anything to the input which is uh, louder than the threshold and I will do this now and when I uh, played enough for one loop I press the record button again and then it stops recording and it loops okay I do this now and I play and press not very exactly but it works you see it turns and turns and turns I don't play anymore this is recorded this is recorded and it, it loops and loops and loops so I can play anything else now Not recorded because I stopped recording and it loops and loops. This is like showing which position in the loop we are now. This shows the time where we are in the loop now. This shows the output we have. Okay, this works very nice. So when we want to add something to this loop, we have to press overdub. And I already configured a key on my footboard, so I don't have to do this by mouse. And I can press overdub in any part of the loop and it starts directly to add something so it is useful to not press it before you start recording and I want to uh, add something like this okay so I press overdub you see it blinking and goes and it returns and now I want to add something else I press again Loop. 